Hello friends, welcome to arpitakarva.com, India's finest online coaching for English literature and net preparation. Today we are going to talk about the internet. We shall talk about what is the internet, the history of internet, some important terminology, then we will talk about communication on the internet and some other services on internet. So, let us begin. Friends, can you remember a time when you could not tweet, post, email, blog, snap or like someone online? Well, many people today have grown up being able to do all of these things. But there was a time when none of this was possible. What makes this possible today is what we call the internet. Now, according to Webopedia, the internet is a worldwide system of connected networks. Each network consists of millions of computers, servers, routers and printers. Friends, the internet is made up of two words, international and network. The internet is basically a network of networks that is spread across the globe. Through the internet, any computer can communicate with any computer in the network. Let us now talk a little bit about the history of internet. Friends, according to Hobbes' internet timeline, in 1957, the Soviet Union launched the first satellite into orbit. While this might not sound serious, this happened during a time in American history that is called and known as the Cold War. It was at this time that the threat of nuclear war was at its greatest. The thought was that if the Soviets could launch a satellite into space, then they might be able to launch a nuclear bomb and hit the United States, destroying all of our communication lines. The internet began in 1969 as a research project funded by the Department of Defense with the goal of creating a means of communication besides telephone lines. The first network was called ARPANET, which stands for Advanced Research Project Agency Network. The focus was on communicating if the event part of the network was disabled. This early network was the precursor to the internet. It was limited in function but launched the idea of a different method of communication. Friends, in 1969, University of California at Los Angeles, University of Utah and some other universities were connected using the ARPANET. The goal of this project was to connect computers at various universities and US military. Now this ARPANET was developed by Robert Kahn and Wind Surf in 1969. Friends, now let us acquaint ourselves with some of the important terms related to the internet. The World Wide Web, commonly referred to as the web, is a system of interlinked hypertext documents accessed through the internet. It enables the retrieval and display of text and media to your computer. When you want to visit your favorite mall and shop at all the fine retailers, how do you get there? Depending on where you live, the mode of transportation you choose will most likely be the one that gets you there quickly and efficiently. Just like transportation gets us to where we need to be, a web browser allows us to travel through the internet and visit our favorite websites. And just like we have preferences in transportation, we have our own taste in design, function and brand when it comes to websites. Web browsers are programs that display text, data, pictures, animation and video on the internet. Now, web browsers provide the software interface that enables you to use your mouse to click hyperlinked resources on the World Wide Web. Web browsers were initially only used for surfing the web. 
they are now more universal and allow users to do many more tasks including conducting searches emailing transferring multimedia files participating in discussion groups and much more some examples of commonly used web browsers are internet explorer mozilla firefox google chrome and safari next is web pages these are created using http that stands for hypertext transfer protocol friends all the web pages together form a website next type is a website and like i just mentioned a website is a collection of web pages next is web servers it is the server that has the requested information your computer becomes the client on the network and the web server has the requested information friends next up we have a web address it is the url or location or the address of a web page the next term is domain the name of the website is a domain for example in www.arpitakarva.com arpita karva is the domain name this helps to locate the server friends the next service is domain abbreviation for example in www.arpitakarva.com .com is the domain abbreviation other examples can be .gov .edu .in .org etc last is domain name servers the service of domains are provided by domain name server friends now we will talk about the services which facilitate communication on the internet the most common one is social media now social media is defined as the platform used by applications that focus on using the internet to connect people across the globe There are many applications like email, chat messengers and applications, blogs, Facebook, Twitter, etc. The major functionality they provide to the users is connectivity and communication. These applications run intricate algorithms that monitor shared and stored data. One major function of social media is to monitor track and analyze a user's online activities this allows for the collection of information on user interests and preferences this process enables product suggestions the next time the user browses the platform for example if you check out details about some product on the xyz e-commerce site the next time you log on to your social media sites You will easily find those and similar products which will appear as suggestions for you to look at. Thus, social media plays a huge role in gathering user information to increase sales. The next one is blogs. An individual records his or her own opinions on a web page which is given the name of blogs. A lot of companies post blogs on the internet for user information. Next is the news group. People can join news groups to discuss current affairs and hot topics. Next is chat. Friends, chats help with textual or multimedia communication. Last is emails. You all would have sent an email from your email IDs. Now let's look at the other services available on the internet. The first one is called video conferencing. Through this, you can have video calling with friends or family or basically with anyone in the world. Next is e-learning. You can watch videos of teachers like this or take an online course on the internet. Basically, the internet is facilitating learning. The next service is e-banking. Friends, in e-banking, 
You can use banking services from the comfort of your home. You can transfer funds, open bank accounts, open RDs and FDs, etc. Next service is e-shopping. You all would have ordered stuff from Amazon, Flipkart, Mintra, etc. That is called e-shopping. Next is e-reservation. It means booking tickets for railways, aeroplanes and hotels using the internet. Next service is e-commerce, which is sharing the information of your business online. Like if you open an online store, that would be e-commerce. And last is social networking, means using social networking platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. to socialize and make friends. That's it from my side for this lecture. We will meet soon in the next lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com.